Hello oh, and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk about the altitude on hypotenuse theorems. I think that these theorems are pretty cool. It's a really fun topic, makes you think a little bit. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the next couple of minutes. I certainly do as part of my teaching of uh, geometry. All right, altitude on hypotenuse theorems. What do we mean by altitude on hypotenuse theorems? So I've drawn a right triangle ACB and what we've done is we've created or drawn an altitude CD to the hypotenuse AB. So I have CD is the altitude, AB is the hypotenuse and the theorems that we're going to talk about derive from the altitude being placed on, we say on the hypotenuse AB. So let's see what we can uh, figure out once we draw an altitude CD to AB we have a host of similar triangles. So we're going to define angle A as X first, and we're going to define angle B as Y. We know that uh, a, angle ACB is 90 degrees, right? So X plus 90 degrees plus Y is equal to 180. So I say X plus Y plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because we know that the sum of all the angles, measures of all the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. Now, if angle B is Y and angle CDB is 90 degrees, then angle DCB, angle DCB must be X, right? Because we said that X plus Y plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we know angle DCB is equal to X and then in the same way, we know that angle ACD is equal to Y. Uh, we know we are given that angle A is equal to X. We know CDA is 90 degrees. We know X plus Y plus 90 degrees is going to be equal to 100, 180 degrees. So what we've done by creating an altitude on the hypotenuse, altitude CD and the hypotenuse AB, is we've created three similar right triangles. Okay, And we're going to uh, start from the... Uh, value of x first, and we're going to define those three right triangles. Okay, the first right triangle is going to be ABC. So that's the one that we had originally drawn, the larger triangle. So A, X to Y. And remember, as we define the vertices of the triangle, we want to go in the same order as we define uh, them as being similar to each other. So we've decided that we're going to go in the order of X the angle that contains the X measure, then the angle that contains the Y measure, and then the right angle. So as we describe the three similar triangles, we're going to go X to Y to the right angle. So I have A, B, C as my first uh, right triangle, and then A, C, D. So now A, C, D is so the smaller triangle, X to Y to 90 is the triangle that's similar to ABC. And then finally, CBD, X again to Y, and then to the right angle. So now I have my three similar right triangles just by drawing an altitude on the hypotenuse. All right now, there are a lot of things that we can get from this. So let's talk about um, what we can derive from knowing that these uh, three triangles are similar. So we've spent a lot of time talking about ratios and proportions in the past uh, chapter, and now we're going to apply what we've learned <clears throat> uh, to these similar triangles that we've created. Okay, the first thing that we're going to notice is that <clears throat> I have, uh, and we've said that ABC, triangle ABC is uh, similar to ACD, and we're going to say it's by AA similarity, but we've already establish the fact that we have these three angles, or at least two of the three angles that are going to be congruent. So I know by AA that the blue triangle is con or similar, excuse me, to the red triangle. So ABC is similar to ACD. And therefore, I know that AB, so the long, this is the hypotenuse of uh, the larger triangle, over the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle, is equal to the leg AC of the larger triangle over the leg AD, the corresponding leg of the smaller triangle. So if I use cross multiplication, I see that AC squared, AC squared is equal to 
AB the entire length times AD. So this is what we're, be, we're going to be able to derive from the fact that we have three uh, similar triangles. Again, in this case, it's AC squared is equal to AB times AD. Uh, now, there are three formulas that we're going to create, and this is the first of them. So again, AB times AD is equal to AC squared. Right, so we've compared the smaller to the larger. Now we're going to compare the medium-sized to the larger triangle. And we know that uh, angle, triangle ABC, so the larger triangle in red, is similar to CBD, that m uh, medium triangle, again by AA. But of course, we've proved, proven the two triangles similar in a prior slide. And now I'm going to say that AB, again, the hypotenuse of the larger, over CB, the hypotenuse of the medium sized is equal to CB, which is the leg of the larger, over DB, the corresponding leg of the medium sized triangle. And we end up with CB squared now is equal to DB times AB. Now you notice a similarity between these two uh, equations that we've just created. First is this length here on the side, AC squared, is equal to the corresponding smaller length of that triangle times the entire base length of this larger triangle, the hypotenuse. And then in this case, and this is how I remember it, CB squared, right, the right-hand side, um, or the hypotenuse of the medium triangle, is equal to uh, one of the legs of the medium triangle, or the right-hand portion of this base, times the entire base. Okay, so CB squared is equal to DB times AB, and then again, AC squared is equal to AD times AB. Okay, and then the last one is going to be, I've got the, excuse me, I have the smaller triangle that's similar to the medium-sized triangle. So ACD is similar to CBD. And so I take AD, which is the leg of the smaller triangle, over CD, which is the leg of the medium-sized triangle. That's equal to CD, which is the leg of the smaller triangle, over db, another leg of the medium-sized triangle. And I figure out by cross-multiplication that cd squared is equal to ad times db. So cd squared is equal to ad times db. Now, when we talk about ac squared, it's going to be ad times ab. When we talk about cb squared, it's going to be db times ab. And then when we talk about CD squared, let me use another color. We talk about CD squared, it's going to be CD is equal to, CD squared is equal to AD times DB. So there's a pattern based on the orientation of the side length that you're squaring. And again, the way that I measure it is CB squared over this right-hand portion of uh, the base or the hypotenuse of the triangle, db, times the entire hypotenuse. ac, the left-hand uh, leg of the larger right triangle, ac squared is equal to ad, or the left-hand portion of the base of the hypotenuse, times the entire hypotenuse. And then it'll be cd squared, or this altitude itself, times the uh, cd squared is equal to the product of ad times db. All right, so let's move on. If you didn't follow my, my personal rationale in understanding altitude and hypotenuse theorems, you can also say the altitude of the hypotenuse is going to be the mean proportional of the legs. The altitude of the hypotenuse is going to be the mean proportional of the legs. Um, and that this particular definition is a little bit more difficult for me, but if that helps you to understand the altitude and hypotenuse theorems, then that's great. But I want to provide you with that information. Okay, so that brings us to theorem 68a, which says the two triangles formed are similar to the given right triangle and to each other. Okay, so we've already proven that a triangle ADC is similar to ACB is uh, similar to CDB. And for my students, um, if you need to use this as a reason, um, I'm just asking that you say altitude and hypotenuse theorem as the reason in your two-column proof. So we've already proven this. Again, I'm just restating it as a theorem, and we're going to call this theorem 68a. It could be a different theorem if you're using a different book, but in our book it's 68a. All right, 68b says the altitude to the hypotenuse is the mean proportional between the segments 
of the hypotenuse. So what does that mean? That means that h squared, the altitude to the hypotenuse, is the mean proportional between the segments x and y to the hypotenuse. Well, how do we figure that out? Well, we know that x over h, so x over h is equal to h over y. So we're using, in this case, the uh, small right triangle and the medium right triangle. x is to h uh, as h is to y. And so we come up with h squared is equal to x times y, or the altitude of the hypotenuse is the mean proportional between the segments of the hypotenuse. So that's uh, theorem 68b. And then, and we've, of course, we've already demonstrated this uh, in this particular explanation, cd squared is equal to ad times db. Uh, but again, restating it as a theorem. Okay, and then finally, 68c, either leg of the given right triangle is the mean proportional between the hypotenuse of the given right triangle and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to that leg. All right, well, we've also already proven this as part of um, the first two uh, sets of similar triangles that we talked about. The first one was ac squared is equal to ad times ab, and the second was cb squared is equal to db times ab. And what we're saying here is just we're establishing that as a theorem. In this case, it's theorem 68c. So we're saying, again, b squared is equal to x times c. b squared is equal to x times c. And a squared is equal to uh, y times c. So b squared, I'm sorry, a squared is equal to y times c, and b squared is equal to x times c. So again, just restating uh, the theorem based on the uh, proof that we've already provided uh, for those two equations. All right, so as I mentioned, for this, my students, you can use or state the altitude and hypotenuse theorem as a reason. You do not need to write out the full theorem. So just in summary, uh, we have, a, and now we're defining these instead of uh, letters, we're going to say h is the altitude, um, x is one of the legs, left-hand section of the hypotenuse, y is the right-hand segment, b is the left uh, hypotenuse for the smaller triangle, we can say in this case C or A is the hypotenuse for the medium sized triangle in this case. But either way, we have H squared is equal to XY. Uh, H squared, the altitude is equal to a X times Y. B squared is equal to X times the entire hypotenuse C. And A squared is equal to Y times C. And that's it for the altitude and hypotenuse theorems. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview and how we got to uh, the three-part theorem, altitude and hypotenuse theorem. We have a couple of practice problems to go through, so why don't you join us uh, in the next edition of Otten Math.